House Resolution 100 by Representative Werkheiser, the 157th, a resolution commending the Georgia Manufacturing Alliance and for other purposes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for allowing us as members of this body to present some of the brightest uh, individuals in the state. Uh, today we have Jason Moss and Marjorie Dykes with the Georgia Manufacturing Alliance, a group that is actually celebrating their 11th anniversary tomorrow night. And <clears throat> he'll tell you about what, uh, what all they do, but I got involved uh, this past year and, and uh, Representative Kirby has been, has known them for several years. But the, the thing that interested me is, is many of you have seen shows like How Do They Make This? They do a lot of tours, so I, so I was able to go around Georgia and visit plants and just saw some incredible products being made in Georgia, and it's amazing uh, the amount of products that are being made. And, and then the networking that they do among themselves. I, I remember being at one event, and they talked about uh, one manufacturer was buying product several states away, and because of his organization, they met, and now they're buying by the truckload. So just all kind of cool things that happen. And, uh, and like many of you, you walk into a store and you see a rack of batteries, uh, Duracell and Energizer, and uh, there's, a, there's two packs there. They're both uh, $10.99. Which one do you buy? Uh, he taught me how to answer that question. And with that, here's uh, Jason Moss. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I am the luckiest guy in the state of Georgia because I get to do what I love. And I know a lot of you guys and gals here today uh, are serving our state and we do appreciate all the work that you do. Because of the work that you do, it's no secret that Georgia has been recognized for the sixth year in a row, the number one state to do business. And a lot of that business is in manufacturing. Manufacturing accounts for about 10% of the Georgia's economy. Many of y'all have manufacturers in your, in your districts. And I'd encourage you to engage with those manufacturers to find out what all the things, all the great things that are made here in Georgia. Um, I started this organization back in 2008 because I saw that there was a huge need for manufacturers to be able to connect with each other. Um, I will tell you there is a difference. Let me clarify a couple things. We are the Georgia Manufacturing Alliance. We are an association with a sole for, focus of helping support manufacturers in the state and help grow manufacturing in Georgia. Now, many of you know the Georgia Association of Manufacturers, Roy Bowen and his team. Uh, they are involved in, and, and they do a fantastic job based on the feedback that we have from manufacturers around the state. The Georgia Association of Manufacturers represents the manufacturing community well here in the capital. And we're thankful that they do that because politics is not something that we particularly want to get involved with. We're thankful to be here because we know the impact and the connection between um, corporations and, and, and business and, um, and government. We've got to have a great relationship there. And, and again, because a lot of the work that you guys do, we're able to have that. This past year, we hosted, we had a little over 3,500 people attend events that we hosted and we hosted 120 events around the state. We had the opportunity to tour some amazing manufacturing facilities, everything from Caterpillar to Coca-Cola to Bluebird Bus to Kia. It's fun to watch a, a car roll off the factory every 57 seconds, you know, and all the lives that that touched. If you watched the Super Bowl, there was a fantastic commercial on the Super Bowl talking about the lives that were impacted by the manufacturing in, uh, in West Georgia around the Kia facility. So. Again, we would encourage you guys to continue what you do. We're gonna keep doing what we do. Uh, we found that, again, the statistics for manufacturing in the state of Georgia, we have over 10,000 manufacturing facilities in the state of Georgia, and that represents about 440,000 people every day go to work making things in our state. And the average consumer can't name three things. Now, I know this is an advanced group. I know you guys know kind of the inside track. How many products can you name by brand name that you know for a fact are manufactured in Georgia? Think about it. Some of you are, are more engaged, but I'd encourage you to make sure that you know everybody in your district that man manufactures things. So uh, five years ago, we, came, we, we requested from Governor Deal a proclamation 
declaring July Buy From Georgia Month to bring awareness of products that are manufactured in our state. Last year was the fifth year that we had received that proclamation. We're very thankful of that because it brought some great awareness. And we did 16 manufacturing plant tours in the month of July. Now, we didn't sleep a lot, but we got to see some, some pretty cool things. So imagine that you walked into the, to, to, to your favorite retail store, maybe walked into Walmart or Home Depot, and you saw a battery display. One said Energizer, the other said Duracell. Similar products, similar price. We've all bought both, right? But what if you knew for a fact that the Duracells, all the AAA and AA Duracell batteries are manufactured in LaGrange, Georgia, and support over 440 uh, families in Georgia? Which ones would you pick? And if you say anything other than Duracell, we're in the wrong room. So, um, But guys, learn about what's being made here. Plug into some of the things that we've got if you're available. And again, Bill, uh, uh, Bill and Tom, we really appreciate y'all's support and all that you do in engaging the manufacturing community. So um, look forward to seeing you guys out on the road and supporting manufacturers across.